Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to install the SAP Creator Report for the Visual Studio. Okay, so basically, when you, you are working in a website project, so you will have to request to export the data from the website into a, a report file, and after that, you deliver the report file into the client. So, in this video today, I'm, I'm going to guide you how to install the SAP Creator Report for the Visual Studio to do it. Okay, let's get started. You open the web browser and access into the sub.com. Go to product and we have creator Visual Studio website. So here you scroll down. You can see we have download sub creator report, developer version for Microsoft Visual Studio link. You click on it. So after that, it will open uh, another web page. You enter the some information here to get the latest version of the SAP Creator Report. Select country. No need to subscribe. Click, click on free download button. Yeah. After that, it will direct you into the uh, download here for the sub creator report on this page we have a lot of version here there is a latest version of the sub so now I go ahead to click on the installation packet for Visual Studio ID button to get the file into my PC okay so it will took some time to get uh, uh, the file from the internet into my PC so so now the current version is it already support for the Visual Studio 2015 and the latest, latest version of Visual Studio for now is 2017 so please, uh, before you install the uh, this version of creator report so you have to install the Visual Studio uh, 2015 on the Windows PC uh, otherwise if you just install the version for uh, uh, Visual Studio 2017 and after that you click on uh, setup button to install creator report on your PC so it will display a message uh, this version of uh, SAP creator report is not, uh, is not work with the current version of Visual Studio so you have to install another version for Visual Studio or something like that Okay, the download seems to be done in some second. Okay, click on the download file from the PC. Yet button. Select the language by default. I will select it. Link. This one is a welcome to the sub creator reports. Yes, wait until the installation is done. Ok, if you need for now, click on finish button to finish the setup.
we did doing the uh, window configure for SAP, Crystal Report Runtime Engine for .NET Framework in 64 bit. Okay, it's done. So now open the Visual Studio 2015. It, it does not work for 2017. Okay, so now create a website project. Anything else? Template. Okay, done. So now we right click on this project, add new item. You scroll down here on the left side of the, the, the menu. You can see we have a reporting. Click on this here. You can see here on the main menus we have creator report file here. You are uh, you are go ahead to click on creator report. Or uh, there is uh, here some description, correct the report file that public data to window or web form. Yeah. So name it, enter, enter the name for this correct report. So now I will have it by default. The extension for correct report is RPI, RPT, RPT, click on add button. Yeah. So here you can see after that we have the uh, creator report file has been created into the web project. So we have some report header, page header, detail, report footer, and page footer. So uh, is it video today? I just go ahead. I just going to guide you how to install the SAP creator report uh, into the Visual Studio, and don't talk much about how to work with the creator report. Maybe I will do it in another video later. Okay. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to uh, uh, download, uh, how to download the SAP creator report from the website into the window PC. And after that, you know how to install it uh, for the Visual Studio version. And basically, uh, the current version is uh, before you download the character sub report from the website, you have to check uh, the what is the version current the what is the version of Visual Studio the current version of the uh, character report is support. So you have to install the the the, the, the right Visual, Visual Studio version on the Windows PC first, and after that you get the file for sub read the report from the internet and install it on the Windows PC. Okay, so hope that helped and feel free to let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye, talk to you later.